One got knocked down, he won't get up again The other went knocked him down One got knocked down, and now he's fucking dead The other went knocked him out Combo Breaker! Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, two sword fighters, really mystical sword, meant to banish an all-powerful evil. They go on a trip through time. Wow, these two are pretty much made to fight each other. Well, without further ado, let's hop right into today's match. Link vs. Samurai Jack. And hold up, just for a minute. Since Link's been incarnated over like a zillion times, this will be Link from Hyrule Warriors vs. Samurai Jack. So now, on to the review. Samurai Jack's village was attacked when he was a small boy, and this left him to learn the art of combat. He eventually came back to fight Aku, but before he could deliver the killing blow, Aku sent him forward in time, where Aku's evil is law. So being the slayer of evil, he must have an impressive resume of skills, weapons, and powers. Samurai Jack actually has a small healing factor, and it can be used to heal small cuts and bruises, but if something's too major, it won't be able to do much for him. He also has enhanced senses, nigh invisibility through this weird technique where he bends light, but he needs time to perform it. He also has limited telekinesis, and he's technically immortal because time paradox shit, so he can't be killed through age and like conventional things like diseases, but anything like sword slashes or decapitations or even bullets can still kill him. And also he can fight on the astral plane. Not really useful or relevant for this battle, but he can do it. And if he really needs that extra boost in power, he can call upon his ancestors for a boost. Now, Jack wields his katana, a holy weapon meant to banish evil. And if he really needs to, he'll craft weapons on the fly, such as spears, bows, and arrows. Jack is also no pushover. He's strong enough to obliterate towns and fights with the Scotsman, and his, his sword negates durability against evil beings. And he can even carry a 700-ton sumo wrestler. Now, Jack is fast enough to dodge sunlight and even attack ships moving at light speeds. However, it's important to note that this ship wasn't at its full speed yet. It was more at like a sub-relativistic speed. Now, Samurai Jack can also survive atmospheric re-entry and detonations of cities. He can also take beatings from the Scotsman and large robots, and he's even tough enough to fall off of mountains and then climb back up and even fight for days on end even after being injured. Jack is also a genius warrior as he's trained around the world with all sorts of warriors, and he's a uh, great tactician as well, and he's also learned to use all sorts of manners of we uh, weapons, including futuristic tech that he's, just, uh, that he's just discovering at the moment. He's also fought a wide arrangement of uh, things such as demons, robots, aliens, and other trained warriors. But Jack isn't without his flaws. He will go out of his way to help others to the point of risking his own life. And Jack is kind of savvy to tricks, but he needs to experience the trick first to be able to figure it out next time. So the first time, it'll trick him up. It'll trip him up. The hero, the goddess, and the evil are cursed to be reborn constantly. But we don't care about the other two. We're going to focus on the hero, Link. More specifically, the Hyrule Warriors incarnation of Link. So Link being an incarnation of the hero has some pretty great uh, skill sets and equipment. Well, Link himself doesn't have any powers per se, but his mastery of weapons and his arsenal more than make up for it. Link's primary weapon is the Master Sword and Hylian Shield. It's an unbreakable shield and a holy sword, and you know only Link can wield these. Now, obviously, he can slash with his sword and he can block with his shield and bash with him, whatever. But he also has a devastating, rather far-reaching spinning slash, which is pretty self-explanatory. Link also carries the Fire Rod, which is basically a big-ass wand that can shoot fireballs and streams of flames. It can even create a freaking dragon made of freaking fire. He also has a large metal ball that he swings around and beats enemies to death with, which is actually really brutal if you think about it. And he also has this like spinner that pretty much works like a giant Beyblade that he rides on and he can attack with. On top of that, Link can, uh, carries a bow that can shoot normal arrows or powerful light arrows. He also has the boomerang used to stun opponents, and the gale version creates tornadoes to pull them in close. And Link also has bombs used, you know, for exploding. And they have a giant version for bigger explosions. But Link's most iconic side weapon is the hookshot. This weapon is meant to pull in enemies, uh, or bring Link to the enemies. It's basically like a grappling hook, but instead of a grappling tip at the front, it's like a spear, so it like stabs into them or into the ground, or wherever he's shooting it. Also, the upgraded version of this brings down a mini version of the Majora's Mask Moon that explodes on contact. And if Link really needs any more powers, he can focus his spirit to boost all of his stats even further, and even unleash, unleash a devastating ultimate attack after this with the rest of his energy. So with that arsenal, Link has to have accomplished some pretty ridiculous shit, right? Well, you're right. He can kill large Dodongos with ease, and even fight Sia. And most impressive, the most impressive thing he's ever done was he could take out Ganon when he was powered with all three pieces of the Triforce. Link is fast enough to dodge King Dodongo's fire breath and fireballs, and he's even fast enough to dodge attacks from the powered up Ganon. 
Link is tough enough to survive hits from King Dodongo and Sia. And sure enough, he can also take hits from a super powered up Ganon. Now, keep in mind this is Ganon, not Ganondorf, the giant pig one. Link being the reincarnation of the hero also has an intense knowledge and the uh, Triforce of Courage. Basically, this means he can pick up any weapon and learn it perfectly and has all the past memories and knowledge of the other Links. So this makes him pretty much, a, uh, pretty much gives him like multiple centuries of experience. And also he's, uh, he's smart enough to lead Zelda's armies against Sia's and eventually Ganon's armies and win. Now, don't take Link's badassery for being perfect. He, he is known for being overconfident and this often leads to his losses or even stupid mistakes on the battlefield that can cost him valuable, uh, valuable land spaces. So let's see what time traveling evil slaying swordsman can come out on top in a battle to the bitter end. Jack is peacefully walking through Hyrule when he sees an arrow fly at him. He quickly draws his sword and blocks the arrow. Jack looks over to see Link holding a bow and fails to notice the target behind him. Jack runs up and jumps at Link, slashing downwards at him, but Link quickly blocks with his shield. Jack lands in the two stair for a moment before Link spins, slashing at Jack, who blocks it, who blocks the attack and pushes Link's sword to the side and goes to stab him. Link dashes back and pulls out a bomb and tosses at Jack, who runs to the side. The explosion goes off and Link starts firing arrows through the smoke. Jack blocks most of the arrows, but one hits his arm. Jack looks around, uh, around as the smoke clears, but Link isn't there. Link pulls out the fire rod and starts launching fireballs at Jack from behind. Jack gets hit in the back with the first fireball and then turns to see Link as he dodges the other ones and cuts Link's chest open. Link pulls out his sword and shield. Jack goes in for another stab, but Link blocks it with his shield and swings back, cutting open Jack's left shoulder, causing him to bleed large amounts. Jack goes to swing overhead, but Link cuts his chest rather badly and then kicks him, causing him to slide back. Jack gets back up covered in blood and rushes at Link, but he manages to block all of his slashes and then uh, with only a few wounds on his arms and legs. Link pulls out his hookshot and shoots it through Jack's chest and pulls him in close. Link cuts Jack in half, having his organs leak out the bottom, the top half of him. Link falls to the ground and looks through his stuff for a fairy in a bottle. Our winner is Link, and oh boy, this battle is such, it's just so much in Link's favor. Poor Jack. So let's just go over the stats and I'll show you why. Link's best speed is defeating Ganon at full power with all three pieces of the Triforce, which is somewhere around the star levels of power. Jack's best speed is beating Scotsman, who subsequently took out the city with their attacks. Now this puts him somewhere in the town to city level, or city to large city level of power. But if you don't notice that stat gap, uh, stat gap, that's a huge one. I mean, that stat alone is enough to give Link the win immediately. That means if Jack messes up once, Link can kill him in a single hit. And actually, this is surprising. Speed was a complete tie, with Jack being able to dodge uh, sunlight that was going through all this complex of shit of mirrors. It basically makes it a sub-relativistic feat. And uh, Ganon's attacks that Link can dodge are just about the same speed as, uh, as that. Now, durability is in Link's favor by a long shot for the same reasons that he takes the strength category. Intelligence was another one that I had to make a tie, with both being very skilled and well-trained warriors with, uh, with training from around the world and multiple centuries of warriors, it's ridiculous. Now for fun and just some icy on the cake, let's just let's forget about Link's stra uh, strength gap and go over the other reason Link has a huge winning advantage. His inventory. It's, it's honestly, Link's inventory is way more versatile. It would allow him to fight Jack at any range that he wants, uh, either close up or from far. Now, Jack is lacking in the ranged weapons department. He really only has his katana, and he would need time to use his invisibility or to craft a weapon, which, and with Link's uh, speed being completely equal to his and his strength being that far ahead, Jack wouldn't have the time to do so. And not to mention, if Jack were to want to win this match, he would have to not make a single mistake, and then he'd somehow have to pull a huge attack out of his ass that he doesn't have the capability of doing. So with Link's massive strength gap, his, mo his bigger arsenal, and Jack's lack of power to kill him, Link takes the win. Next time on Combo Breaker. Jafar vs. The Mummy. 